Hi, it's Celeste, your canary in the coal mine. It used to be that if you were trying to avoid gluten-containing products, which would be things based on wheat or rye or barley, that you could switch over to corn-based things. So instead of having French bread, you could have cornbread. But here's what's happened in the meantime. More and more and more of our corn crop and our soy crop are getting to be genetically modified. They are not the natural corn and soybeans of the past. So those foods are getting dangerous. I know that some of the government experts say, oh no, you can go ahead and eat them. But I have this philosophy that says, if the body wasn't designed to recognize it, don't put it in the body because then the immune system will attack it or the liver will have a tough time flushing it out because it's not supposed to be there. It's not a natural thing. I can rem I lived, when I was a child, I lived right down the street from cornfields. Every direction from my house was cornfields. And I tell you, the, the cornfields, they maybe got to five, five and a half feet tall. Six feet would have been, wow, a huge stalk of corn. And the, and the, the, st the stalk of corn maybe would have three or four ears of corn on it, maybe five. And that was it. Well, <laughs> when I drive up to see a friend of mine in Wisconsin and I'm driving through a lot of cornfields, today right around my house, there's no longer cornfields, it's all suburbs. But when I do get a chance to drive through corn country again, the corn is huge. I mean, it's like 14, 15 feet high. And it's got so many ears of corn per stalk. And I know that's wonderful, you know, that they, it increases the production per acre. I've heard that, that acreage of corn produces two and three times as much corn as it used to 50 years ago. But the point is that it didn't get that way by natural interbreeding. It got that way by genetic alteration. And our bodies don't know what to do with the plants that come out of this genetic alteration. So it's getting to be the point now that when you go to buy any packaged food, which I'm not recommending, but if you are, you have to look for the non-GMO insignia on the packages of anything containing soy and anything containing corn. Because if it doesn't say non-GMO or organic, either of those two things, it will almost certainly contain genetically modified corn or soy. So the, we have to be so careful nowadays in order to eat healthy. It's ridiculous. I mean, you just have to constantly be vigilant because everything is changing so radically in the last 50 years. And where you could just buy food at the grocery store and eat it 50 years ago, you can't just do that anymore today. You have to be really careful, you have to be really knowledgeable if you and your family want to stay healthy. So that's my health tip for today. Avoid any corn or soy that doesn't say GMO, non-GMO, or organic. So thanks. I want you to get well and be well. Thanks.